up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and this is my boy, Nick Stanzik. Today is a very unique day. We actually just got done filming a video about seven miles back that way. If you want to see that other show, the link will be in the description below. But many of you know Nick Stanzik. He has a YouTube channel called Stan's Fam. His family owns Bud and Mary's, the historic marina here in Isla Mirada, Florida. Their family is legendary fishermen. I fished with his brother two days ago. We caught tarpon and snook and goliath grouper back in the backwater. And if you walk into the Bud and Mary's gift shop in Little uh, Delhi, just look up at all the pictures. I mean, this place is steeped in tradition and founded on fishing, you know what I mean? And this guy right here, he's one of my heroes. He is a sword fishing Guru. That's how I learned by fishing with the best. Tell me a little bit about our gear. Now we're gonna try to hand crank today. So we got a 50 wide reel. We got a 50 wide custom rod I have built. 65 pound braid. We got a little light on here. Yes, sir. We're gonna put a piece of fresh bait on there too. We were hand cranking the queen snappers and grouper. Now we're hand cranking swordfish. Let's get after it. That's a bonita taco. It's a strip. It's a bonita strip that's sewn using a 10 aught razor sharp hook, little blue and silver skirt over top of it. It's gotta be very durable because these fish are gonna come in with that bill swiping and slashing. If they cut it up, they won't eat it. You want them to be able to whack it and then come back and eat it. sword fishing, because you're fishing so deep, it's imperative of how you put your bait out. <laughs> it's like a big old bobber. Look at it go. So we have successfully deployed the jug rod, and this is what we call the tip rod. When you're sword fishing, all of your focus has to be on the tip of the rod because the bites aren't gonna be huge. It's just gonna be a tick. It's just gonna be a whack, or the rod will load up, or it will just have a different look to it. So you gotta understand the, the movement of that rod and we're always looking for a bite. You watch the rhythm of it and all you're looking for is something to break the rhythm and you don't know if it's a 20 or 30 pounder, might be a 700 pounder. Correct. I mean, that rod tip, it go like that. You have no idea. We got two baits set. That's him right there. This fish is 2,000 feet from us right now. We got to get that hook driven. We got to get the fish hooked. Definitely there. Stalling us out. Okay. Every time Nick comes out, he brings a banana. There you go. We'll see if it's good luck or not. A lot of people say they're bad luck. We're getting to fish and do what we love to do for a living. It can be that bad luck. They're clearing the back buoy rod so that we can just focus on catching this fish. We don't want to get tangles. We're clearing this. And there we go. And when you do this, you're not trying to get a bunch of cranks. Like a one to a half is what you're looking for. And then every system. Fish is gonna scope up. Here we go. We're tight to the fish. When I get close to a fish like this, come off the drag just a little bit so you're, you know, the fish may be hooked marginally. Oh, there he is, right there. Gonna come down, nice see fish, on him. Nice fish, nice fish. That's a good fish, Robert. I see him, no doubt. That's a nice fish. There, there, Dawson. 
Get ready, Dawson. Hold on. Let me come back here. He's Get shaking ready, his head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, he's coming to the back. Good, good, good. He's going to come up jumping. 150 pound fish. Hey, that's what a professional does. Oh! oh! oh Big fish! Lord. Okay, this fish just figured out that he's hooked. That was the best swordfish jump I personally have ever seen. Oh. This is what I love about these hooker electric reels. We were able to use the motor to do the to do the crazy long runs. But now, here I am hooked up, stand up, with a gladiator of the deep, Xiphius. These swordfish are so strong, you're never gonna beat them power for power. You've gotta beat them and just finesse, get them, make it feel like their idea to swim to the surface. I feel them down there swatting. When a, when a swordfish starts swatting that bill, it means it's kind of, it's like annoyed. It knows it's hooked. It knows that it's in a fight now. Would you agree with that? 100%. Fish is playing along well. She's not doing anything real crazy, which makes me think we've got her hooked good in the corner of the jaw. Here's the leader right here. That leader is 250 feet long. So here we are. And now, you're not trying to do big things. One crank, get that fish's head to do just like this, right to the surface. You don't want it going like this. We're gonna get her right here, she's coming to us. She's coming to us, she's done. Angling into the boat, Nick. Angling under the boat. Okay. Gonna make a turn. We want her over there. A lot of times these fish want to get in the shadow of the boat. See the shadow? A lot of times they want to swim right in the shadow. Come on, stay here, honey. Okay, come on. And there goes the leader. This is when a lot of people would want to push up the drag and think like, oh, I gotta catch him right now. No, man, patience. Catch these fish with patience and technique. It's okay, we got her right where we want her. The, hooks, the, the hook just did something. I don't know what the hook just did, but. Come on. She feels like she's rolling or something here. Good, good. Hit her with the dart when you can. Here we go. She's coming to us right here. Here she is. Just barely see color down there. 
she keeps doing something weird. I, I, I don't know what it is. There's something funny going on with her. There she is. Very close, Nick. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She's gonna come out. She's gonna come out right here. Hold on, let's see if she'll come up. your shot right there. Oh, here she goes. Stay there, honey. Got her right here, Nick. You're, she, we got her going right where you want her, Nick. There's your shot. There's your shot. There's your shot. Got her. Good. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! How about that? Yeah! yeah. How about, how about Woo! Boots? Please do me a favor. Just do me a favor. Go check out Stan's fam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish, guys. That's a nice sword fish. Look guys. at that. Boom! Woo! She's That's bigger right. than 150. That's, 150 plus all day. That's over 150. Five. Good job, Dawson. Thank you. Nice job on the dart, boy. Yeah. Good job, Look son. Fish. Beauty. 8700 SS, stainless steel. There you go. So you want to know what works? The Bonita Taco. What hook is that? 8700 SS, uh, VMC, 10 OJ hook. Super sharp, strong, durable. Got the job done, y'all. Watch all Robert's videos these last few years. Taking care of what you catch or what you harvest is a big part of it. Icing them down, take them home and eat them and share them with our friends. That's it. Hey, Dawson. Thank you, buddy. Thank yeah, you very no much. Thank you. We were literally just running about 70 miles an hour coming in. Bud and Mary's, this is the Stanzik headquarters. I want to throw this fish on a scale. We're going to cut it and be ready to go.
Okay, you guys, here's the question. Comment below how much you think he weighs. Don't cheat, don't go ahead, this is just fun. Drop a comment below how much you think he weighs. Hit the thumbs up if you think it's over 150. I'm gonna say right now, 185. I think he weighs 185. I got 173. 182.5. You were there? Yo, guys. Now, my question is, be honest. Who said 182.5? These swordfish live on the bottom. They actually live down there, and I, I think they must roll in the mud because every one I've ever cleaned, if you take a brush like this, watch what comes off of them. Just see how this is all white? Watch this. Look at the mud coming off of them. That's mud. So, the way I look at it is, why clean the fish and get that all over your hands and possibly get it on the fish when you can wash it off? Now, watch this. Huge difference. Coming right up. Look at all the mud come off that fish. Awesome, would have you ever imagined that? Okay, Nikki Stanzik. Ready? Let's do your magic. So these are two of my knives. That one's made out of an elk stick, so it's more of a, a straight handle. This is made out of a crown, so it's got a little bit more of a curve. You feel them and tell me which one you like more. Ooh, you like the crown. See, I love the crown too. It, it feels good in your hand. Yeah, it doesn't look like it would, but it's kind of a little ergonomic flow to it. That's right, brother man. So we'll give it a shot. So, we'll, oh, that is sharp. <laughs> right in there by the tail. And we'll do our outline first, but then we're gonna do loins of it. Oh, pretty neat too. Looks great. That right there and work away from the tail and try to touch that spine. You can hear it hitting it. Oh, this is, what a pretty fish. Hello. Coming through his belly. Work his way all the way down towards his tail. And this fish is big enough that we'll actually quarter it too. Yep. yep. Straight down here where the bloodline runs. Just like that. How are y'all doing? How are you? I'm doing great. You ever watch YouTube? Oh yeah. I have a channel called Deer Meat for Dinner. Oh, okay. So I specialize. Oh, look at that. We're gonna change it to Sword Meat for Dinner today, though. <laughs> yeah. Where are y'all from? Ontario, Canada. Follow that bloodline. Dead in the center. Just like that. Well, that that right there is prime to me. That looks perfect. I mean, now that, that is a slab of meat there. That looks beautiful. That's the freshest broadbill swordfish you're ever gonna get in your whole life. We're gonna put it in a bag for you, take it to a restaurant, and have them cook it somewhere. Just call some restaurant, find out where they can do hook and cooks, and have it cooked tonight, because that'll be the best fish you've ever had in your whole life. My name's Robert. Chris. Nice to meet you guys. Look at that right there. Prime. See that white in there, that's a little bit of fat. That's a healthy fish. Very nice. Yeah, where are you from? Jamaica. Mom. Jamaica. You ever Jamaica. eat any pink parrot? Pink Dr. Parrot? Fish? Yeah. Oh, blue boy. I've been, uh, yo. We I'm got like eight Dr. Fish on there right now. You want some Dr. Fish? Yep. Yeah. Blood clot. Bumble clot star. You know what it's about? My language, yo. I know that fish. Yo, big up everybody I yard. You don't know a Mikey General, you know. You see me? Big up my pops of Mandeville. Big up the whole of Portmore entire. You know, big up Dunkirk. Big up Kingston City, all Jamaicans. Big up, bless up there in the Florida Keys. Respect, you don't right. know. Bless. Red Snapper. Yo, yo, that's the boy. Queen snapper. That's the stuff. Yeah, man, respect, yo. There you go, Michael. Oh, my God, yo. Yeah. He's eating good now. Yeah, man. This is a great place to be here with, boy. I love it here. Yeah, man. All the best, you know? Respect every time, yo. Thank you, guys. You're very no welcome. Yeah, man. Look. Look at his pocket. That's Victor from Landshark. His phone's ringing. But uh, My bad. no, who cares? We're having so much fun, man. We're just down here. This is the beach house. Everybody thinks of Bud Mary's as a marina. But it's so much more than that. They've got beautiful rooms. This is called the beach house. This is the house that Nick Stanzik grew up in. 
from when he was 10 years old to 20 years old. The hurricane two years ago destroyed this place and it was rebuilt. Now they have it available for all kinds of big functions, weddings, you name it. Just check out Bud and Mary's and uh, you could be having your function right here. It's amazing to think that 40 miles that way, this morning, that fish was swimming around. Look at that. <laughs> this is gonna be good, ain't it? Sam, did you think you were gonna be eating swordfish with deer meat I for really dinner? Did it. <laughs> I had no clue. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Now, these Traegers, they kind of cook with an indirect heat, but they're lovely. This fish is gonna have a nice, smoky, happy flavor to it. Got us a little bit of Caesar salad, although I wish we had some anchovies. Got us a sweet potato, because my mom, she is the biggest sweet potato fan in the world. And so mom, this one's for you. Gonna take us, this is honey butter. Put a little or a lot right in there, just like that. Then we're gonna take us a nice old swordfish steak, put on there just like that. This, our fresh garlic scallops, put right in there, just like that. Nick Stanzik, you've been a friend of mine for a long time but you've been a hero of mine for even longer. No, seriously, folks, very few times in life do you get to meet a legend, but I'm telling you, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna go down in the history books as one of the greatest fishermen to ever live, and it's an honor to call you a friend, my buddy. I appreciate it, thank you. And you almost dropped that, which would have been really funny. I almost dropped it. I'll make you a trade. If I get an invite to y'all's wedding, you can have this plate of food. No problem. There you go. <laughs> All righty. Man, what a blessed day this is. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. This is Sam. Sam's from Long Island, New York. Thank you so he much. came down. He was fishing with, with Brooke and Victor today. There's a piece of swordfish, my man. <laughs> Don't spill it. Awesome. <laughs> it is so good. I've never had swordfish cook like this before. Absolutely amazing. The scallops are really good. I knew Robert could cook, but that salad is amazing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, we didn't catch a swordfish but we get to enjoy it. And we get to enjoy it with Rob and all these good people. And that's what I like the most about Rob's channel is everyone coming together, the positivity. And you guys, if you've ever wondered if Rob is as energetic and enthusiastic in real life as he is in his videos, he's even more <laughs> enthusiastic and energetic. It is unreal. And the positivity goes into the food and everything he does, so thumbs up, Rob. Thank you, Victor. Appreciate it, buddy. This might be the best fish I've ever eaten in my life. It's so good. It's my first time ever eating fresh swordfish, too. Thank you for all your hard work today, bro. No problem. So in all honesty, this has been a day that I'll never forget. I just really wish Sarah and my girls were here. This is a life that I'm honored and privileged to get to live, and I appreciate you being a part of it. Nick? Fun day. You're my bro, man. This guy's a legend. Please go check out Stan's fam. Brook Christ Outdoors, Land Shark, this barn, Bud and Mary's, Island Rada, sport fishing capital of the world. Thank you, Lord, for all of these blessings. I'll see you guys soon, but for now, we go.